The yeah. best possible snorkeling. Okay. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Today we're in the north of Bali at Menjungan Island in the national park of Bali that people hardly ever come to visit. And the reason people don't come to visit is it's so far away from the main part of Bali, it doesn't really make it into the loop travel that backpackers do when they come here. So our aim for today is to find out is Menjungan worth the four hour journey what's the snorkeling like here and to find out why people call it the Maldives of Bali. Good morning guys, today we are at Mimpi Resort, Menjangan. The weather has turned around fantastically after the last couple of days. We're just heading to the dive center of the resort. They wanted us there at 8.30, it's now 8.28. Really looking forward to this. We're gonna be heading into the national park and then we're gonna be snorkeling and visiting Menjangan Island. I've never been here. It's a very, very under visited place in Bali. And the best thing that I'm looking forward to is apparently Menjangan Island is full of deer. And it's a, t I don't know how they got there. It's a tiny, tiny island off the coast. And so they have a population of deer. Let's get to the dive centre and get out on the boat for snorkeling. Don't you think these things look like buttholes? Once you see them, you can't stop seeing them. <laughs> There's no one here, we're early. If we're lucky, we'll be the only ones on the boat. So this snorkeling trip was actually pretty expensive. I think it's like uh, 1.8 million for both of us, which is around 900k each, but that includes both the 200 or 250k entry into the national park and an extra 100k, because apparently today is a national holiday. And it's not even a private boat, but because we turned up late last night, it's a lot more convenient for us just to book through the resort and come from our dive center in the resort and take the boat straight over than it is to try and find a different company in the national park. Put it on my big foot. I think also good yeah yeah 25 minutes nine o'clock yeah, yeah, yeah with 25 minutes to spare i'm gonna go check out the restaurant and see what they have for breakfast so my food arrived this cost 120,000 idr <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> i'm so shocked that was very average probably won't have again is it just us on the boat yeah oh perfect yes accidental Woo. private boat <laughs> So that was a really calm 15 or 20 minute ride actually, I really enjoyed that and now we are here at Majangan Island, we are at the underwater cave snorkeling spot that we're going to try. I have not free dived for a couple of years so I don't know how deep the underwater cave is. Baby there's a cave! Oh I hope to don't be in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah. best possible snorkeling. Okay. And, and diving too. And diving as well. Wow. Alrighty, that's ready to go. Oh my god, that's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so we just 
got back from the snorkeling trip and that was absolutely beautiful. Uh, I, I don't know, it's hard pressed to say which one I prefer, the Gillies or Menjungan, but I think it might be Menjungan. I think Menjungan might be better. 100% for me, Menjungan. Yeah, I think uh, the Gillies has better coral, but Menjungan has a lot better marine life. Uh, apart from turtles, I didn't see any turtles, but the fish, so many fish and so many like natural underwater coral caves for, to go in, but there was one that goes like, for probably like a good five to ten meters, but I'm not good enough at free diving to try that. No, no way. I think the difference between Gili and Menjangan is that Menjangan has actually the um, the wall. The, oh, the wall, yeah. yeah. Gili's is just a drop off. But we just got back on the boat, and uh, Hutu's given us a coke. Very nice. At least they're providing us drinks. Oh, also lunch is included in this tour, which I forgot to tell you earlier, which is really nice. Hey, Putu. Yeah. I know why you're wearing this now. It's because of the jellyfish. No, for full. I feel full. <laughs> jellyfish. We don't know jelly, some jellyfish there. Yeah, I bet he was wearing it for protection, really. Yeah. What have you got there? Including okay. in the prize, there is also some fruit. Look how much. That's awesome. Ready to go find some deer, hopefully. We're crossing boats. Oh, thank you. So we've just set foot on Menjungan Island for the first time. Let's see what this place is about. So far, can't say it's living up to its uh, Bali Maldives name. Um, it's beautiful, the coral's amazing, the water's very blue, but like Maldives, not yet, but let's have a look. Do you not want to burn again, babe? <laughs> I don't want to risk it. <laughs> This looks like fresh ceremony territory. We just saw a bunch of Balinese people come down in like the Bali Madra formal dress. So they must have just finished the ceremony for the day that Putu was talking about. She's only gone and found them. Oh my God, the size of those horns. Okay, so I checked my goal off the list very quickly. There are deer on Menjungan Island. It's strange like how small this island is that there's a population of deer here. It baffles me. Maybe they swam. Do you think they swam? What, swam? Swam? I think so, but like my biggest concern is like, where did they find food? This place is very, very dry. Yeah, that's also true. Didn't think of that. So we've had a bit of a walk around the island. It doesn't take too long to get to the temple from the pier, about... 10 minutes. Yeah, if that, less than 10 minutes. But I just got the drone up to show you how small the island actually is. And how brown it actually is. I wasn't really expecting that. But we found the deer, we've had a bit of an explore. It's hot, Sarah needs to pee. Yeah. So we're heading back to the boat now. We'll do the second round of snorkeling and then we're gonna have some lunch. But I found this on the floor. This is a Indonesian piss belong. What they used to use as old coins. It's a present. Yeah. Oh, really? Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm good, thank you. Oh. I know they grew up here and they're used to it, but it baffles me every time I see local people completely dressed up in like a jacket in this heat. Oh and basically melting like the Wicked Witch of the West and they're wearing jackets. I'm melting! Melting! So far, this is the only white sand beach I found. I expected more. It's still beautiful, but I expected more. Oh, it's hot. It's hot, yeah. After 20 minutes, my swim shirt is completely dry. Stay hydrated, kids. Okay, so the plan now is to move to the other side of the island and go snorkeling again and try a different snorkel spot. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. If it's anything like the one we just did, oh my god, it's going to be beautiful. And we just might have to change my mask because it's filling up with seawater and I can't deal with that. I'm not one of those people that can open my eyes in the water. But hey, look at this water. It's so beautiful. I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up on the wide lens, but we're just going past a cave and it's absolutely full of bats. It's so full. The walls are lined with bats. This is what this bit looks from the sky. So I got the drone up and you can see this rock pool. This is a statue of Ganesh, the Hindu god. That's absolutely beautiful. New mask, new man. It's really, really hot, so this is going to be very nice.
What did you get? That's a jumbo. <laughs> my favorite. This is actually my favorite. Chicken schnitzel. Yeah. Because I eat Indonesian food. Uh, yeah, <laughs> What's in the box? Oh, look at that. I'm dropping seawater inside my rice for the next round of this. Thank you. Welcome. So we just got back after the second snorkel trip at Coral Gardens. And I have to say, the life on the coral here is teeming. There are so many fish and wildlife. It's so much more than it is in the Gillies. If you're planning to go somewhere just for snorkeling, I would definitely recommend you come here rather than going to the Gilly Islands 100%. But if you're going to the Gillies to also like party, meet people, then I would definitely recommend the Gillies if it's not just for the snorkeling. But in terms of diving and snorkeling and, and marine wildlife, this is the place. This is 100% the place. And now we're heading back to the resort and then uh, relax for a little bit and then we'll, uh, I don't even know. I'm gonna get for a massage. <laughs> 